down, you do it all for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, got a thing. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. As a young and do it all for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, got a thing. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. What's good, y'all? This is King Tech TV, hanging with G Connect, where different generations have real conversations. Make sure you tap in. One love. Hey, this is your boy Dismos from the West Coast. I'm right here on G Connect. You know what I'm saying? Check this out, man. This is uh different generations having real conversations. You know what I'm saying? You know, as you can see, the gray stripes in my hair, them ain't nothing but general stripes, man. So you should take all the advice from me personally. You know what I'm saying? I'm just bullshitting. My, my name is Dismos. You need to go hit that like, subscribe button share tell a friend don't be no don't be no hey man don't just and then that's it and it's a memory man tell somebody else so they can get the same information that your ass just got you know what i'm saying for free don't even cost nothing man you know what i'm saying it's your boy signing out man you know you know what to do man look at the interview and look at the, all the other interviews on here man it's good contact man. Co uh, content you know what i'm trying to say that's how we do it man you know what i'm saying Yo, it's your boy, Stefan, a.k.a. Roach Killer, tapping in with G-Connect. You know, where different generations have real conversations. Tap in. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, if so, it's like when motherfuckers say something about Dr. Dre, and I, and I, and my memory of being around him and doing shit around him is like, ah, nah, you feel me? Like, I was, like, I was, I was, uh, after Biggie, after Biggie got killed, I, uh, I was a personal cook one time for uh, Puffy, Mace, Lil Kim, and um the Locks and all them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they uh they came back to L. A. That first time coming back to L. A. After Biggie got killed, uh the dude from America Music Awards, some white Jewish dude was friends with Benny De uh Benny Medina, and he was Puffy's manager or some shit or whatever, uh, J Lo's manager and all that shit. And they called up to this restaurant where I was working at on Melrose. It was called Uncle E's. It was the only black barbecue spot on Melrose. You know what I'm saying? It was a little bit past La Brea. You know what I'm saying? And um, fucking um, they called up there and was like, man, we need a soul food cook, man. And come up there for a couple of weeks to this mansion, cook for Puffy. And it was like, all right. So my, so my partner, Uncle E, called. He was like, this, you ain't married. I got I got a wife and kids, bro. You need to go up there and do this shit. Do this job, man. Take this money. Get this money for the, you know. I was like, all right, shit, cool. You just, you just like, you just can't go home. You know what I'm saying? You got to go up there. You got to, it's a mansion up there. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have your own room, but you got to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to get paid for this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, cool. It was like, cool. So I went up there. Puffy and them was like, damn, this shit is cool. Like, they, they couldn't believe how young I was, but. It was like it was like having like how how you how you said like like I was saying Q bone for Snoop you know what I'm saying you got one of the homies cooking for you you can't go wrong you know what I'm saying right. it's like this shit man I was just in there whipping up shit and um so man I just it, I don't know why I brought that shit up but it's just it's just it's just that it's like what I was talking about as far as networking and shit you know what I'm saying and did something happen. No, I, oh well, nothing happened. Well, I kind of got into it with Mace up in that motherfucker one night. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I almost one day one gangster one, Mace or Reverend Mace. He he was just Mace back then. He was still shiny suit Mace back then. That's why I felt like I I could have fucked him up. Come, <laughs> I mean, coming later find out they was like, it's a good thing I didn't try to fight that fool because I heard he had uh he supposedly what? have hands. Shit. He's supposed to be like a black belt and all this old bullshit. And if you would have fucked me up, it, this story at this age would be sounding fucked up. If I would be like, yeah, Mace put hands on me that day. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, hey, that shit don't sound right. No, yeah, that, that, yeah. It didn't happen like that, though. But that motherfucker, uh, I didn't have no fucking vitamin D milk. One morning, his ass woke up, uh, the locks, Lil Kim, all the motherfuckers. Ain't nobody complaining about all this food I cooked and all this shit. But he come down. Oh, I'm a Harlem nigga, B. I'm from Harlem. You know, I, I, I'm not into all this fancy shit, B. 
I just want some regular fucking cereal. I'm like, motherfucker, okay. I got Captain Crunch. I got Raisin Bran. I got Lucky Charms. I got Pop. Man, I got every fucking cereal a black kid from Harlem would want, motherfucker, since she's so ghetto and hood, right? Motherfucker, I got Captain Crunch berries up in this bitch. Want to fuck up the roof of your mouth? What you want to do, motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, he, he get the big ass Tupperware bowl. I can't remember. I think he got some Frosted Flakes ass motherfucker. He was a big ass bowl of Frosted Flakes or something. He get this big ass bowl. He go to the refrigerator. He 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 he, he talking about. Oh man, it, it wasn't no vitamin D milk. It was like some like low fat or some shit or something other than vitamin D. And that motherfucker was like. And man, Puffy and them already told me anything that anybody want in the house to eat or drink, whatever the fuck they want. I have a telephone. I call the phone. I call on the phone. We we at the top of the uh, mansion somewhere in Beverly Hills. I, I call this fucking number. Tell them whatever I want. Bring up a, a case of Cristal. Bring me fucking twelve dozen eggs. Whatever the fuck I need. You know what I'm saying? And them motherfuckers come from the bottom of the hill. Ain't no charge. All I got to do is sign for whatever I, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I can get the milk, bro. I, I can get the milk in a couple. Of, and he was like, man, we we'll, we'll, we'll start like acting like he about to cry and shit. And then that motherfucker looked at me and was like, he was like, I'm going to tell Puffy. I was like, tell Puffy? Like, man, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. He was like, what? I was like, nigga, like, like you said, like, I'm gonna tell Puffy, like, I'm about to be in trouble or something, like, like, nigga, like, like, I don't give a fuck, nigga, like, and then fucking, uh, fucking, um, Jada Kiss jumped up and was like, nah, son, nah, like, 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 nah, be like, 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 chill out. I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck about, like, like, basically, I was already, you know, my mind was like, man, I'll go back home, nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga, y'all, nigga, nigga. Nigga, 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 why you tripping over some fucking milk that I ain't hey, nigga. Nigga. You won't even give me the time to the opportunity to to to, to rectify the situation that I, I didn't like, even know existed. Bro, his face, he was like this, like he had this old fucking just <laughs> big ass flick faces. And I was like, man, man, and he said, what? And so when he did the what, I did, you know, I nigga, nigga from you know, nigga LA, nigga, nigga, I did the what too, nigga, nigga, what you mean? What, nigga? You know what I did. Like what, nigga? What? It turned into what? Like you know, it could have kept. We could have kept what until we got closer and started. Nigga, what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? It was about to turn into that. Oh, he on that side of the kitchen, and then um, and then fucking little C's and Jada Kiss. The nigga was like, nah, nah, chill out, daddy. Shit. It was like, man, he and then Jada Kiss said, man, Puffy be spoiling this nigga like he his son, bro. Don't, don't, don't worry about that, nigga, man. Don't worry about that shit, bro. Don't worry about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And they calmed that nigga down. He went to another room, man. But I wasn't fucking with Mace, man. I don't like that nigga. He's <laughs> a whiny ass nigga, man. Oh, grown, grown man ass, whiny ass nigga. Like <laughs> that, that was back then. You think he changed over time? I think, I think he changed, especially how he be on Puffy head, too. You know, I, I seen a little, little shit. I don't know, man. That nigga... Sometimes when motherfuckers be weird when they're young, they be weird when they old, man. I don't know. I ain't speaking for that motherfucker. He probably he might still be a weirdo, bro. <laughs> the way he, you, you know, the way he be, like, he a preacher one day, and then next day he fucking, I don't know, man. I can't speak on that, man. I, I just, you know, I can't speak on him. But he, I could speak on him back then. He was acting like a little bitch right there. <laughs> Connect with D and G two B. The generation conversation. You ain't got the patience.